right. John went to rent. I saw him go out the side or the back or something. Okay. I'm a little bit early, so he well, might maybe be... maybe that's why. Do you need some water or the loo or something? No, I'm fine. I'm enjoying the sunshine. Yeah. It was really cold riding out here today because oh, yeah, no, I, I know. the Actually, cold wind was coming right at us. We've got about a, a 70k ride planned for this afternoon, but I'm just waiting for it to, to warm up a bit. <laughs> making soup like that. Good for you. All right. Average heart rate 63. Workout paused. Workout stopped. There he is. Early. Yeah, as always. My favorite running buddy. So you got running okay? No, unfortunately. It's weird because originally he said that he was keen and then he when I phoned him from the pigs he said Oh, is it okay if you just run with John today? My back is still hurting. So, who knows what that's all about. Anyway, so tell me about your new part-time job or your new volunteer job. It's actually really good. Where is it? The guy who took care of our uh, whole yard area. Yeah. He's actually really good at designing it. And taking care of it. He's still the general horticulture, landscaping person uh -huh. for the Deep Coast Chalet. Okay. A couple of years ago, Deep Coast Chalet sold two of the four acres. The company bought those two acres and then arranged to get subdivided two properties. And he sold the one further away from the corner of the ch chalet and built his own house. Okay. And then somebody else, very high end, bought the one closest. That's what he's working on. Is that near here? Uh, yeah, it's six kilometers away from home. Okay. Basically, so how would you get there? You drive there? My bike there. Tatlow, corner of Tatlow and West Sands Road. Okay. And what's your job? We're across the street, the winery got sold also. A long time ago. Well, I'm helping him with his landscaping work. Oh, okay. Like tons of lots of brand new. It's basically a bushy area. Especially on the ocean side, the social side property. So you got to clear the... Oh, he's done that already. He's already cleared all the bushes and stuff. He's using lots of rocks for basically liners. Forwards. Some stuff to grow. And only one section in the back is going to be sod grass. Because they have a dog. Okay. And the front is going to be seeded into grass for no irrigation. This guy is unbelievable. He's got a $300,000 contract to do this for him. Uh, Hil Hillary's, so got a, Hillary's got a bike ride planned for this afternoon. Yeah, we're going to our accountants. We've already signed off. 
pick up the paperwork. Because all three are done. Hillary's mine. And you go the same way. So I have my vaccine on Wednesday. Next Wednesday I'm gonna have a Oh one. Wow. Yep. It's kinda neat because originally they contacted Norma and said, We've got you booked in for your COVID first shot. Yep. And then they said, Do you have a spouse? <laughs> and she said yes. And they said, Well, he can have his done too, even though I'm younger. Oh, so I'll get to go at the same time as Hillary can. Well, if, as long as... No, I won't, because Hillary, they screwed up her first day of work. Yeah. Which is basically orientation, but the new computerized software system isn't still uploaded or updated, because everything is out of Nova Scotia or Toronto area. Uh -huh. Sobeys is where it's on. So they screwed up. Now they got a phone her to let her know when her first day, which would be orientation, is going to be done. We actually started the same day on Monday, both working. I don't know why my phone is pinging. Maybe there's open source Wi-Fi here. Open source. Yeah. Oh, like Shaw on the go, Shaw open. Yep. Sometimes there's, a, there's one called number sign telus. Telus and Shaw are big rivals. Well, let's walk. Yep. I figured you were. She's basically doing a lot of this long, wide rake that he has. Oh, hang on. It's Norma. She said that she's she's at the pigs and she's picked up tomatoes for me. Well, that's good. That was a text or an email, probably text. It was a SMS. That's how come I got it. SMS. Yeah. That's the messaging system? Yep. I've got a whole bunch of those. Messenger from Facebook, which I hardly ever use. And WhatsApp, which is really good. Yep. For sending videos and pictures. It's not true. You can actually go face to face on WhatsApp if you got Wi Fi? Yep. Well, I know that it's very popular in Europe. All my relatives use it. Whenever I'm in Europe, I have to we use WhatsApp. But then Mark Ritchie, who came with us to uh, Mallorca, yeah. told us to get, get it, pick it up. So we got it. It's owned by Facebook. WhatsApp? Yeah. Oh, yeah, stuff like that gets... <clears throat> we... Re ownership all the time. It's like they're all in the same uh, sort of family. Yep, well, I'm, I'm glad that I'm getting my first shot on Wednesday. And then, oh, yeah. well, however Hillary, many weeks after Hillary's that. She's going to get hers at work. Uh -huh. That's what you started off by saying. They screwed up her first day of work or something. Well, the first day was just orientation. Yeah. But the first or second or third day, she gets the shot. Well, pretty soon I'll be able to go and visit my son in Washington. Which part of Washington? Uh, near... What's it called now? I keep forgetting. Uh, Spokane, south of America. No, it's near, it's near Seattle, Kirkland. Kirkland, oh, yeah. oh, Kirkland. We know somebody who lives in that area. Yep. In Bellevue. That's right. 
Bellevue Kirkland, that's where a lot of the people who work for Microsoft and Google, they live there. And that's where a friend of ours is a retired engineer from Boeing. Aha. Uh -huh. We met him in uh, Mallorca. A couple of times we've gone down to his place and he was showing around some of the bike routes, including three different roads to go up to Mount Rainier. But I thought you said in, you were in Mallorca. Yeah, Mallorca. Time nine minutes. Average heart rate 137. It's a really nice island. The Balearic. Yeah. The Balearic Islands. Must have reminded you of the Azores. Yeah. Way more mountainous. Yeah. It's funny, the English say Azores, and the Americans say Azores. The Portuguese say Asus. Asus. Does that mean blue? No, that no, would be Azul. It's a bird. No. It's a falcon-like bird. Like a, like a Maltese falcon. Something like that. Yeah. It's the first time they've seen that, is there, so they called it, where the Azores live. The Azores. Yeah. Can't wait till we go travel. It's got to be fun. Yeah, we missed our next, this is the third time we've missed our trip to Yellow Point last year. You don't really miss it until they tell you you can't travel. No, no, no. I phoned and checked. No. Because last time, we didn't want what was available. Because everything is in your room. They cart your meals and your snacks to you. Yeah. Because the, rump the dining room and rumpus room wasn't going to be open. But I wanted to phone them and tell them, that's fine. In our own room, everything. Yeah. But generally, it's 21 days before. They say, come in. Because of your personal schedules. You got one month to give away to somebody. Or one time. No, twice to give it away to somebody, but not in the same two years in a row. And once, don't go, but it gets saved the same days next year. So how far do you want to go today? Do you want to turn up Bradford? Yeah. I'm wondering if Sterek is intimidated. He might be. Because when I told him you were running, he said, Oh, maybe you should just run with John. Anyway. He probably needs it more than we do. The running because he doesn't do anything if he doesn't run with me is he going to the gym like he used to nope they've closed that down as well the new lockdown rules so Can after I this the Sydney Bells website I looked and looked and looked. What's that, the cycle club? Sydney Velos? It does a Sydney Velos time trial. Two 
Who's a nice step? How many kilometers is that? 17.36. Wow. Two laps. And how long to take the faster guys to do it? A couple under 25 minutes. Wow. Only once, that's somebody done under 25. In my best, because the route has changed. Yeah. Was the 26, 36. Average For me, the best is the July or August. And it's hot. You like me, you like the heat. I'm gonna go right past the Oaks house. Somebody's legal. Yeah. No, I'll talk to them. It's on Yeah, this is the Oaks place. I can always tell by the truck. Average heart rate 146. I forgot to take a drink last time. Got to remember to do that. Yeah, I'm going to walk it off a little bit. My heart rate was beginning to peak. Rob uh, Wiley was telling me mm. that uh, they closed down the Cy Hampson for the uh, cycle thing. Because the dog people complained. Oh, go to wash them there, yeah. There were too many cars pulling up oh, yeah. for the time trials. It's recommended. Park somewhere else. But it's still legal. I mean, they can't stop you. It's just no. they were upset because there weren't any parking. Well, they could be so pissed off. They have like a, a big dog yeah. with very scratchy nails. Yeah. You can always tell, your dog, you can always tell their dog to yeah. scratch out your car. <laughs> or they damage your car. With a little, two. Time a, a young kid's trailer, carry, what's it called? Uh, or a baby. Oh yeah, like they a... You pick up the baby? Stroller. And jam, you know. Ram the car the with your stroller. Or be so, which is easy to do, get on your knee where nobody can see you, deflate one of the tires. Talking of that, I had to pump oh, up my tires. Yeah. I had to pump up my tires today. I, I've got, I'm running about 40 pounds per square inch. I guess oh, for high a, performance. Maybe a small loop, a small leak, but yeah. hard to say. It could be because of the cold weather. It seems that the tires go down when it's cold. And when it gets warm again, they seem to the air expands in the tubes. Oh that's right, air does expand, yeah. So Janice Baker had her COVID shot. Time 17. Morris Tarrant had his. Steve Baker had his. Zone three. Yep. Norma really likes coming up to see the pigs. We pick up a lot of free vegetables. That's a nice looking Corvette. Oh. Let me take a photograph of the Corvette. Are those new glasses? No, these are my old ones. Oh. I actually lost. The new one. I've had an appointment for a couple of weeks. Time 18 minutes. Average heart rate 133. I actually like this frame way better. Yeah. Because it's stiffer. If I don't need it, you can just put it in there. Yeah. With the other one, 
actually lost it the food store. But they're prescription lenses, obviously. Yeah. This is pretty much the same intensity. Yeah, the, the same prescription. Ones. Very little difference, except the new ones were these straight lines. What's it called? This one for reading. Bifocal. Bifocal. If you're looking far, i got to look up. Yeah. If I want to read, I can't focus up. You have to look over the top. That's cool. Man. What I'm doing now is getting rid of a lot of the dry... The dry hair. Yeah, that doesn't have very much goodness left in it now. It, after oh, a few rains. Perfect. This is perfect. Oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah. The rain washes and the, the good stuff system, in. Yeah. Yep. And then she's got a vine over there as well. Yeah, oh, that's a great vine, yeah. Great. Look at that. That is still doing quite well. Is that a vegetable or? Yeah, that's the one, that, the. Uh, kale. Kale, that's right, kale. Okay, yeah, I ate that the other day. Vegetable very good. That right there, which I finally. Got the border set up. You that were showing me last her, time. Her yeah. um, vegetables garden stuff. Yeah. Work all we did. And here right. too. Uh -huh. Everything else I've planted three <clears throat> seeds in the back. They haven't germinated yet. What kind of seeds? Oh. Cabbage, romaine. Yeah. Early bird romaine. And one other one. Oh, and uh, bush beans. Bush beans. Yeah. Wow. So I'll wait a couple more weeks. If it still doesn't come up, I'll go and buy some seedlings. Yeah. Because I don't have my own greenhouse. So. Well, that's the thing. And the other thing about growing plants like beans and tomatoes is you never get more than two or three ripe at a time. Well, tomatoes, they had them available to buy at uh, Mitchell's Farm. Yeah. But unless you're keeping it indoors... We have a hot house, sunny area. We can't go into it. Yeah. So this is going to be what, 3.6 something? 3.65k? So where are you cycling today? Do you have a route? No, I'm taking Wayne Road, West Sanis Road. Yeah. And then left. At, well, then I'll be Elk Lake Road, right down to where Country Grocer is. And then left on that underpass. Okay. Then right on Chatterton. I know. It's two blocks south in that corner. So that's near where it's fog. Yeah, opposite side, yeah. The Chatterton Way. Then on the way back, we're taking Lockside area. So it's not so noisy today. It's all about timing in the ferries. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 10. Hi. 940. It's not traffic. Did you take your drink? Yeah. You did? On every bit of walk, I always take some. To moisten my lips up to me. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. They always used to say in ultras, always eat and drink early. 
because later on you get too tied up in the in the run, you forget about eating, and then before you know it, you bonk. Uh, in a half marathon, if I heard you ever bring like a cliff bar, a power bar, yeah, you bring some uh, even in cycling too, shock blocks, yeah. They're pretty good. But it's funny, I've noticed from when I used to do ultras that I didn't really need a lot of sugar in my diet. I was living on fat, basically, burning fat. But it's not very good if you want high performance. If you want to kick that extra bit, you need glycogen. Yeah. It's like having two different grades of fuel. You've got low grade, which will just take you along cruising. But if you want to go fast in a race, you need the glycogen, yeah. which is not much good if you and don't. The shop blocks that I that we that I have and always buy. That gives you the glycogen. If sugar. They want the max caffeine. So I caffeine too. Yep, you get the jolt as well. I feel like I've got something in my shoe, but it's not quite enough to stop and take my shoe off, but pretty soon I'll be on the bike, I won't notice. Is it a pebble or something? Yeah. Some... Is it one of your coins or your jib one? <laughs> Those are keys. Those are my keys. I have to bring a house key. You know what I need to get back in the house? Yeah. I pull the one key out. Yeah. So it doesn't jiggle. Down like the other ones do. Ah. They basically. They fit tighter. Nice yeah. They fit snugger. Like. So if I need new lenses, gonna, uh, if I need new the glasses itself, yeah. it should probably be any size and shape. I want to keep the, this you frame. Want to just oh, yeah. put the new prescription in those frames. And keep the old glasses, yeah. the secondary. As a spare. As a spare without the frame. Yeah. And I can go and try to find a cheap frame or something or just store it yeah. okay last little push okay. yeah well three. even with the walking we're still getting faster I think we did this one once in 30. I think we're going to do it in about 28 today. I always thought it was about 28. Yep. This is where I got punched a couple of years ago. This crazy man. Just Derek and I were running up behind him here. And I said, runner coming through. And when I got level with him, he turned and whacked me in his face. With his elbow? With his fist. Oh. Anyway, every time Derek and I go by here, he always says, watch out, you don't get punched. Nice clean truck. He's even polished his tires. Isn't that a cool design? <laughs> it actually comes with a car like that. A little bit of an overkill for a hybrid. A Prius. It means it goes even faster with, it, with that paint job. <laughs> oh, 
Hooray! There's my bike. It's always a relief when I see the bike. It's on fire. I remember once I went downtown to meet up with the guys. What's the distance? Distance? 431 or 461? Uh, 359. Zone 4. Distance. Time 28 minutes. Average 359. But, okay. 28 minutes, just as I said. Yeah, the distance we're probably, down right? Well, if oh, we yeah. go to Henry, it comes out at 4. And if we go all the way to, to uh, Beacon, it comes out at 5. Or 4.77. Yeah. So there are the stats. And that's my heart rate there, 124. Zone 2. Yeah. That's from the fireplace. Oh. Putting logs in the fire in the oh, winter. You have a real, okay, you have logs. Right? Yeah, I touched the top of the firebox and uh, oh, bur burnt my hand. And this, or oh, the property? Yeah. The house is 3,000 square feet, only husband and wife living there. And the property is worth about 4 million. Good gracious. For one acre, without it being landscaped. But does it have a view of the ocean or something? Oh, huge view. Well, that's what I it mean, is. Huge. Even without you a house. Can you even see it? Even without a house, it would be over a couple oh. of million just for the beach view. Area, which is not beachy, but boulders and rocks. Great for walking dogs. Or yeah. Which the dog loves to. Did uh, Lorna ever have a dog? Oh, a long time ago. When she lived? Even she had it, even in Hedder, in Hedder, where we used to live in the same complex before. Yeah. She had one there, Josie. Well, that's probably why. When Josie I, died. When I met uh, Danuda and uh, Phil. It's funny how all the, my clients end up dying, but I guess we all will, yep. eventually. It's funny, I used to have on my organizer, I used to have on my, um, my phone, I guess it would be a phone, at the, at the time it was a Palm Pilot, but I used, to have, I used to have all the entry passwords for all my clients, because a lot of them were living alone, and they had a lockbox. Okay. And then... They sent us a memo saying after you leave employment, you should by rights delete all those, all that information because it's classified. Yeah, I do that to my contacts, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you have to delete it because it's, if, if, if your phone should get in the wrong hand, somebody could let themselves in and steal everything in the house. But basically what I was saying, most of the clients I used to work with were in their 80s and 90s then. Yeah. So they probably all had gone on. To the next place. I, mean, I like watching Czech news. They always have a special birthdays and anniversaries. Not yeah. special. High end. There's somebody on the island mm -hmm. who's 110. No, 114. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And yeah. there's a couple. And yesterday, yesterday the day before, 104. Somebody 103. Somebody 104. It's the same day. The other thing is... It's a man of over 60 years old. A lot of those East Indian uh, guys, when they came over from India, they never really registered the dates of birth of the grandparents. So a lot of them claim to be over 100, but no, nobody can really tell. Yeah. And some of them have age records for running. There was one guy in Toronto who was over 100 and he ran a marathon. But well, just I, like with us, we have to get a, a Portuguese passport, Canada passport. Yeah. So they're asking questions. Where were you born? Yeah. yeah. And they don't go to the church to confirm or anything. They just write it down. Well, they, it's all done by names, word of mouth. And even the names. Yeah. They have to invent the name for us. Yeah. Which is with a lot of people. Botello of this village. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. And my mom and dad's um, very well-known name. That's the family name, kind of family name. Yeah. My dad was Montega, which means butter. My mother was Kanjik, no, the other way. My mother was Kanjik, which means chicken soup. <laughs> so great great grandparent or somebody. Chicken soup was the first and, one who and, knew and how butter. to make and were bartering and trading yeah. chicken soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Hillary was saying she's cooking some soup today. Oh, we've had the smoked turkey breast for the last couple of days. Unbelievable. But well, that was from Passover, wasn't it? Yeah. We had to pre-order a couple of weeks in advance to pick it up. I wasn't aware how many of my friends are Jewish. You know, I, I put up this little Passover thing, 
And a lot of my Jewish uh, clients, uh, not clients, friends on Facebook, they, they acknowledge, they say, yeah, thanks for spotting it, because normally well, it's always... We always have a Passover dinner. Chris, Christian festivals and what things like have? that. Uh, oh. Liver? Chopped liver. Chopped liver. Yeah. Chicken liver? Yeah, I think And uh, kasha bow ties. No, no, we didn't do those. Oh, and... Uh, Pierogies? That I really, actually really like... Pierogies. Lucky. Lucky, yeah. Love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably been a year since we first started running again together. Because I remember we were talking about latkes before. Lattes. Potato latke. And there's Apparently some special sauce that you use. No, but we figured a way, another way to do it. It's a special That's sauce you gotta buy, which is hard sauce. to buy. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's not a sauce, it's a powder to make the sauce. Ah. But we did it without, without that. It's hard to find up with another way to do it. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to you now. And uh, maybe next week I'll, I'll, I'll check up with you whether you're working or not. Yeah. Oh, I, on Wednesdays, rarely. Rarely. Because he actually does this. Mondays and Tuesdays, because Monday and Tuesdays day, the, Swiss, the Deep Cove Chalet is closed. Uh -huh. But the rest of the week, he's in the Deep Cove Chalet. I see. Doing things and managing. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day and have a great ride this afternoon. It's going to warm up nicely. Bye-bye. Take care.